Just the tips. The answer to this question is yes and no. What kind of centrist cuckoldry is this, you ask? Well, first, let's explain what a recession is. A recession is when the economy suffers from shrinkage. Dot, 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 wink. During a recession, trade, industrial production, and of course, the stock market all decline in value. Depending on the severity of the recession, businesses may be forced to downsize. And when we say downsize, of course we mean corporations lay off the employees who actually make the company profitable, while CEOs get $10 million bonuses. The bad news is, if you're a member of the working class, which I'm assuming is most of you, a recession can be a very scary time. A recession could mean you'll lose your job, burn through your emergency fund, and be unable to pay your bills. The worst news is, as long as capitalism exists, there will always be another recession. Because you live under a market economy, your income and savings are always at the mercy of the market. Say what you want about communism, but China's GDP always goes up. Because China respects its workers so much. Sure. Now, the good news is, so far, after every recession, the economy, or at least the stock market, has not only recovered from the recession, but continued to grow. For example, from February to March of 2020, the Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 37% of its value due to fears of COVID-19. As the pandemic grew worse, many people, including this channel, believed we were headed for Great Recession 2, Electric Boogaloo. But by the end of 2020, the stock market had not only recovered from the pandemic plunge, but was again breaking records in the positive direction. All of this goes to show if you're a long-term investor, and if you're investing for retirement, you should only be a long-term investor, you don't really need to worry about recessions because just like global temperatures, the stock market continues to rise. In fact, if you think about it, a recession is actually a good time for investors. As any investor will tell you, the best strategy is to buy low and sell high. Rarely is there a better time to buy low than during a recession. If you invest during a recession, when, in theory, the market recovers, you should see enormous returns on your investments. Of course, many of you red-blooded communists are arguing that investors making billions in profits while millions of proletariats lose their jobs is exactly what is wrong with capitalism. To which I reply, you don't have to yell at me, I'm literally sitting next to a picture of Karl Marx. And of course, many of you are also asking, You say the stock market has always recovered from a recession, but what if it doesn't? What do we do if the stock market keeps falling? Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but if the stock market ever reaches zero, we communists are opening up the vodka and partying like it's 1917. Because if the market has collapsed, then capitalism has collapsed. In other words, we did it. The thing we said would happen over 150 years ago has finally happened. Now capitalism's out of the way, we communists are free to form our international government and seize the means of production. And under communism, no one will ever go hungry again. Sure. Of course, on the slim chance communism f***s it up somehow and no new economic and political system replaces liberal capitalism, then your money will be worthless whether you invested it or not. At that point, we're talking about the collapse of human civilization, in which case, grab yourself a sawed-off shotgun and guzzling-powered muscle car, because we're headed to the gates of Valhalla, shiny and chrome. I'm Comrade Rourke, and you are the revolution. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. There you can watch our full-length episodes, like our program on emergency fights. Subscribe now and don't be mediocre.